SDG 4 of SDGs 2030 ये हम डिस्कस कर रहे हैं और इसमें आज फोकस है कि अ ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच टू एजुकेशन तो इस SDG में दिस इज इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग दैट वी आर फोकसिंग ऑन ह्यूमनिस्टिक अप्रोच टू एजुकेशन और ये इसलिए भी इंपॉर्टेंट नजर आती है कि आजकल के जमाने में जो चेंजेस दुनिया में आ रही हैं these are characterized by new levels of complexity and contradiction ye changes jo hain jo bahut zyada complexity ki taraf ja rahi hain aur jisme contradictions nazar aa rahi hain to in mein inki wajah se hum dekhte hain ki duniya mein bahut sari tension create ho rahi hai bahut sari conflict create ho rahi hain aur ye hum expect karte hain ki education jo hai it will prepare individuals and communities by giving them the capability to adapt to these situations to the, adapt to these conflicting situations and then they could respond as a solution to any of these contradictions and tensions and uh, problems so for that purpose it needs uh, rethinking education and लर्निंग तो दे ये जो री थिंकिंग ऑफ एजुकेशन की बात हो रही है इट इज़ इंस्पायर्ड बाई ह्यूमनिस्टिक विजन ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड डिवलपमेंट तो एजुकेशन जो है इट शुड बी कंसिडर्ड एज इट शुड हैव ह्यूमनिस्टिक विजन ओके तो दैट इज वेरी इम्पॉर्टेंट अब ह्यूमनिस्टिक विजन में क्या कुछ आता है uh it covers respect for life and human dignity uh equal rights social justice international solidarity and shared responsibility for sustainable future so that is uh, uh in a way indicators of humanistic education balki hum ye bhi keh sakte hain ki all these elements are fundamentals of our common humanity so the aspiration of sustainable development requires to resolve con- common problems and tensions and to recognize new horizon so education is me- is being considered as a means to the resolution of uh, common problems as well as the conflict and tensions in the society and then there are uh, lots of challenges and contradictions in this fast changing uh, world aur isme uh, important cheez nazar aa rahi hai ke hum dekh rahe hain ke there's a lot of economic growth there is a lot of creation of wealth aur iske muqable mein agar dekhen to inequality aa rahi hai exclusion ho rahi hai to kuch communities ki aur uske sath hi hum violence mein bhi dekh rahe hain ke कई जगहों पर बहुत ज्यादा इंक्रीज हो रही है दूसरी जो बात है जिसमें चैलेंज और कंट्रोडिक्शन नजर आती है वो इकोनॉमिक प्रोडक्शन एंड कंजम्पशन है ये बहुत ज्यादा हो रही है और इसके साथ ही अगर देखें कंट्रोडिक्शन नजर आ रही है कि ग्लोबल वार्मिंग हो रही है और साथ ही जो है एनवायरमेंट जो है उसकी डेग्रेडेशन हो रही है और तीसरी बात यह है कि स्ट्रेंथनिंग ऑफ इंटरनेशनल ह्यूमन राइट फ्रेमवर्क ये तो एक बात है उसके उलट जो है तो उसको इम्प्लीमेंट करने में प्रॉब्लम्स आ रहे हैं इम्प्लीमेंटेशन एंड प्रोटेक्शन ऑफ दिस नॉर्म्स रिमेन टू बी ए चैलेंज सो एजुकेशन मस्ट बी इंस्ट्रूमेंटल इन द सॉल्यूशन ऑफ ऑल दिस प्रॉब्लम्स एज वेल एज मीटिंग दिस चैलेंजेस सो रीथिंकिंग द पर्पज ऑफ एजुकेशन एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ऑफ लर्निंग इज important very urgent aur usme humanistic approach jo hai uska bada touch diya gaya hai so a humanistic and holistic approach to education can and should contribute to achieve new development model in the uh, present world so ye humanistic vision jo hai it reaffirms a set of universal ethical principles that should be the foundation for an integrated approach 
to the purpose and organization of education for all so ye jo education hai people should acquire this education as uh, for purposes of uh, serving the uh, let's say common community so that is the uh, important thing so central concern of education for number 1 it should be inclusiveness there should be no exclusion everybody should be part of it and there should no group or no community should be marginalized dusri baat hai transformation of global learning and landscape ab ye koi area koi community koi country isolated nahi hai there is all kinds of interconnection so transformation of global learning landscape then facilitating learning for the sustainable development of all therefore we must go beyond the strictly utilitarian vision uh, of education so it should not be ki iska fayda jo hai wo usme usse wealth create hogi usse skills aayengi usme earnings zyada hongi balki it should be uh, for the service of humanity it should not be considered simply as a human capital but more than than that education is not only about the acquisition of skills it is also about acquisition of values of respect for what respect for life and human dignity required for social harmony in a very complex world in a diversified kind of world therefore education should follow a humanistic approach to learning throughout life for social economic and cultural development therefore the concept of humanism in education implies sustaining and enhancing the dignity capacity and welfare of the human person in relation to other so uh, in hum uh, ab ek dusre ko insaan samjhe एक लिविंग पर्सन समझे उसको एक कमोडिटी नहीं समझा जाए तो ह्यूमनिस्टिक वैल्यूज ऑफ एजुकेशन इंक्लूड रिस्पेक्ट फॉर लाइफ एंड ह्यूमन डिग्निटी इक्वल राइट्स एंड सोशल जस्टिस कल्चरल एंड सोशल डाइवर्सिटी एंड ए सेंस ऑफ ह्यूमन सॉलिडेरिटी एंड शेयर्ड रिस्पॉन्सिबिलिटी फॉर आवर कॉमन फ्यूचर सो देर we should reject those systems door learning system that uh, alienate individuals and treat them as commodities okay of social practices that divide and dehumanize people so we should inculcate such values if we have to achieve sustainable development so sustaining and enha- enhancing the dignity capacity and welfare of human person in relation to others and to the nature should be fundamental purpose of education in the 21st century so that is the uh, humanism so education should generate this humanism uh, to consider individuals as human beings not as commodities 